Sunday afternoon to you, Mr. G, coming at you with another weather forecast as we talk about the cold air outbreak that's taking place through the Midwest and down across the South as well. As we take a look at our city of the day for this video, we're looking at St. Louis, Missouri, where that cold air has started to invade, and we're seeing temperatures in the upper 20s right now, so it's much different than you saw. We saw those temperatures in the 40s on Friday, but by today, we're looking at those temperatures in the mid to upper 20s so it's very cold out there across st louis as well and we're going to be seeing that cold weather spread to the south and to the east toward the northeast but now let's take a look at the rest of this forecast so we can look at exactly what's going to be taking place with some of this cold weather all right, as we move through this forecast, take a look at the frigid air that's moving to the south out of Canada. We have that Canadian area of high pressure that's going to be sliding off in this direction. So it's going to be pulling all of that cold air down from the polar vortex over there in northern Canada. So we're going to be seeing much more of that cold weather moving across the Midwest and through the plains as well. As we take a look at some of those um, forecast highs for your Monday tomorrow, we're looking at temperatures in the single digits across much of the upper plains and the upper midwest we're looking at those single digit temperatures through minnesota as well as through the dakotas we're seeing teens start to come in through the portions of the uh, northern rockies and the high plains as we get a little bit of a return flow across the southwestern side of this big area of high pressure so temperatures are going to be just slightly warmer over that way but it's not really pulling in any warm air from the south as this is a very strong area of high pressure and that northerly flow is reinforcing this area but it's come becoming a little bit modified as it is able to tap into a little bit of moisture a uh, warm not moisture necessarily but warmth down to the south we're going to be see temperatures a little bit warmer to the west but not much and as you take a look at what our wind chills are going to be as we head into your day on monday Nine, minus 22 through uh, Sioux Falls and minus 21 in, in Bismarck and we're seeing a minus 24 over there in Duluth. So here across the upper Midwest, we are seeing uh, wind chill values. That's going to get you wind chill uh, advisories in place across the upper Midwest so it's going to be very very cold in the morning hours but we're going to be seeing those wind chills in the teens to negative 20s as well through the high plains and over into the northern Rockies it's going to be a little bit better down across the southern plains through Wichita it's going to be five above six above and we're going to be seeing a morning wind chill of three degrees above across uh, St. Louis but check out Chicago where it's going to be minus 11 and minus 20 up there in Green Bay as that cold air is really coming from this direction so they're really getting hit head on by that cold air that's coming down from the north out there now let's take a look at what we're going to be seeing, looking at those dangerous wind chills as we head into your morning on Tuesday it's going to be a little bit stronger we're going to be seeing that negative 14 over there in Bismarck minus 12 in Sioux Falls minus 16 in Duluth a little bit better in Chicago where it's minus 5 minus minus 7 in Green Bay as well St. Louis is going to be a balmy 16 degrees if you want to call that balmy as far as this wind chill is concerned but so very cold weather across the upper Midwest the northern plains and into portions of the Great Lakes for your Tuesday as well now as we talk about that cold finish in January down across the southern plains we're going to be seeing those temperatures in the teens so we're going to be seeing it 16 degrees in Oklahoma City 30 down in Dallas and we're going to be seeing 38 in Little Rock Alexandria Louisiana it's going to be 60 so you guys won't be affected just yet by that cold air so you can see the front just to the north so that front is going to be stalling out across the southeastern US it won't get much further south than that but it's going to make things more complicated as far as the precipitation that's going to be coming through and it's making things kind of interesting as to the type of precipitation we're going to see down across the southern plains and into portions of the Mississippi, the lower Mississippi River Valley as well. So we're going to be trying to iron that out and get those details down for you as far as that precipitation forecast is concerned across portions of the Mid-South and the southern plains. Now as we take a look at what we're going to be seeing on your Tuesday, that cold weather 
weather is going to continue and we're going to see 31 degrees for your overnight low in Dallas and Oklahoma City going to be in the 19s. So if you're in this dark purple here, that means you're going to be in the teens or even the single digits. You could that 19 over there in Lubbock, Texas, and Little Rock is going to have an overnight low of 31 degrees, so a little bit warmer down to the far south where our front is, but we're going to see, we're, again, we're seeing things kind of stall as we get close to the Gulf Coast there, so now let's talk about those wind chill alerts. We're looking at wind chill warnings over here. You got wind chill advisory through portions of the plains, so the central plains through the northern plains up into Minnesota and in the Dakotas as well. We got a wind chill warning in place over here along I-29 and into portions of Fargo, uh, International Falls, Moorhead, Minnesota. Right in this region right there, we're seeing those uh, wind chills below minus 35. So that's in the wind chill warning territory. The rest of you folks are wind chill advisory and a wind chill watch down here near Idaho Falls and the portions of the northern Rockies here near Salt Lake City, the Wasatch mountain range where you get a little bit of a return flow like I say remember we do have another weather system out to the west that's going to make things quite windy out west so you're going to be seeing those wind chills at they're going to be kind of irritated by that wind from that southwestern storm system, which we're going to be talking about in another video. I got to do four videos today, so if you want to know about all these things that are taking place in the regional parts of the United States, please watch those other videos that I'm going to post after this one. All right, guys? So we're working through this forecast. My name is Mr. G. That is that cold, chilly forecast, and that's pretty much going to last as we get on through the week, we are going to see things start to improve as we get into the next weekend, but we're not going to be out of the woods, but it will modify. We're going to see what's called a modified Arctic air mass as, the, as we are in the month of February coming up and the sun angles are going to get a little bit higher. So it's going to be beaten down on that ridge of high pressure and some of that cold air. And in that mixed layer, we're going to start to see that interaction with the sun's energy and that cold air down at the surface and that the sun can begin to erode some of that cold air. So we're going to be seeing things moderate as far as the temperature is concerned faster down to the south than to the north in the higher plains. So my name is Mr. G. That's just a little bit more information about that cold weather. Please be careful. Be safe out there. Make sure you guys bundle up. Put your heavy coats on, head scarf, head gear, gloves, everything like that. Please watch yourself as the ice can be slippery in some locations. In fact, when it's cold, I think it's actually better as far as traction because you know, you're not really dealing with that freeze thaw, and it's a deep frozen, so I think the ground gets a little bit more crunchy, so I think it's actually a little safer if you're across the northern plains, but it's going to be more tricky down to the south because you, you do have a little bit where some of that radiation can escape and a little bit of, of melting, just a slight bit of melting can take place on the surface of the ice or the snow, so it'll make things slippery. With that, my name is Mr. G. See you guys all in the next video. Have a great Sunday. Bye-bye.